I'm Caitlin Kosick for Hamptons Television. And I'm Michael Wadaika. We're here at the last week of polo at Bridgehampton Polo. We, we're very lucky. They've actually had, of the six weeks, they've had four rainouts. So this is the only week that we're actually going to have a great, perfect day. It's a gorgeous day. And do you know it's my first time at polo? It is. Oh, my gosh. She's going to have such a riot. She's going to share the mic with me. We're going to go do a lot of fun things. Enjoy. Really your excited. I'm joined by Marlon and we're at Hamptons Polo. Tell me what brings you here today. Well, I was invited up by a good friend of mine, Frank and Shamine, and I've been promising them for the last eight or nine years that I was going to make it. And they said if this summer goes by and I don't come, they will no longer be my friends. So this is your first time at Polo, I'm assuming. This is my first time in the Hamptons and first time at Polo. First time in the Hamptons and first time at Polo. It's my first time at Polo as well. What are you expecting? I'm expecting a very good time, being around some amazing people, and a new experience. Good crowd, good music, wonderful sport. Yes, I love watching the horses and a few of the players are my friends, so I, hopefully I get to see them play. And what about the rest of the weekend? What are your plans? Whatever they tell me to do. <laughs> so I think there are a few house parties and uh, a couple clubs and some very good restaurants that I need to attend, and I'm looking forward to it. Well, I hope you have a great time. I'm sure you'll enjoy yourself. I definitely will. joined by Lenny, the amazing photographer. You're part of the WVVH family, and today you're here with AP. Tell me a little bit about what I should expect at Polo today. Well, you'll see a lot of notable people that come here, as well as very well-dressed people. Uh, the Polo itself is very interesting. It's not often seen out here in Long Island, but here at the Bridgehampton Polo Grounds. Uh, they have it every year, and uh, it's gets a lot of spectators and it's an interesting event to see. And you're the one running around shooting everyone, right? All the celebrities. I'm the photographer. I, I get to take everyone's picture and I, I, I've done it for VVH. Uh, I've done it for Hampton Magazine as well as a lot of the other newspapers and magazines. You're very accomplished and how is the rest of your summer going? It's going good. It's been a bit of a rainy summer. We've had a few rainouts here unfortunately, but today is just a beautiful, magnificent day. Thanks so much for joining us. Now I've got two very important people here. You want to tell us who you are? I'm Samantha Yanks, the editor-in-chief of Hamptons and Gotham Magazines. Like we didn't know that. <laughs> I don't have a title like that, but uh, <laughs> you have a very I'm Jeffrey title. Zakarian and uh, I own a couple of restaurants in the city, uh, Lamb's Club and The National. Happy to be here. Yes. Now, Jeffrey, we've eaten at your places. Outstanding. What are you doing out in the Hamptons this summer? What's been fun? Uh, well, I've been doing a lot of events, haven't we? It's been a foodie, yeah, foodie it's, summer. Yes, it's been a very foodie summer. Uh, you know, we, we, we were two for three for rain days. We did really well. Wedding was a little wet, but we, we did a great job on that uh, charity we did for breast cancer as well. Yeah. That was amazing. So, But uh, it's a perfect day here, and it's been five perfect days, which means the horses can run yes. right. unencumbered. Yes, so no. we lured them out for a little yeah. Polo, and we're going to let him relax and not have to cook today. Good. Well, you know, we've been out here six weeks in a row. This is only our only second week that we've been able to run. Right. And what's been outside of work, which you guys are so busy and do so many wonderful things all summer, what have you done personally for fun all summer? Uh, well, we like, won't tell anybody no, over no, no, there. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. You know, I go to the beach um, and snuck off to see a few movies and um, always going out for fun meals with the family and friends. Um, it's been a great, great, great summer. And the rain hasn't really deterred anyone, really. No. Oh, it's been perfect. Now, what's happening in the off-season for you in the city? Well, actually, this hasn't been an off-season. We, we we stopped filming October uh, August 1st, so uh, between Chopped and Iron Chef and uh, Next Iron Chef, I've been working uh, right up till August 1st, so we really haven't had much time off. So it's been a very productive year, but uh, this is one of our last weekends. So we're happy. Well, we're going to let both of you enjoy it. We'll hide you in a corner, <laughs> sit and no, eat and drink. Don't hide us. Don't, don't hide us. Throw you off for the exposure. The right. Oh, That's why come on. Is. We're not hiding anywhere. Good. Which you're tossing something, right? You're tossing something. Okay. You're throwing it's the ball or the coin, we're point. doing something. I'll toss whatever you tell yes, me to absolutely. toss. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Have Thank a great you. time. I'm joined by Avia, who's with 
Virtu, which is a wonderful company. Tell us a little bit about it. Absolutely. So Virtu is a luxury mobile phone manufacturer. Um, all of our phones are made by hand at our factory just outside of London. And we're excited to be a sponsor here today at Bridgehampton Polo of the Virtu Hampton Cup. Uh, our brand is about uh, creating beautiful experiences for our clients. And this is absolutely a beautiful experience. So we're happy to be a part of it. And I've heard a lot about this phone. I actually heard that it has its own concierge service. That's correct. So our phones all have dedicated buttons to contact our concierge service, whether by phone or email. Um, and they're available 24 hours a day in eight different languages to help you out with your needs. Who are usually the buyers of this phone? I know it's kind of on the higher end. It's kind of probably geared toward a lot of people here. Absolutely. Um, but, you know, it's really for people that appreciate beautiful things and um, handcrafted objects made of lovely materials and the finer things in life. So each phone is actually unique because it's made by hand. Each one is made by hand, yes. And are you looking forward to the polo today? Absolutely. I'm going to be tossing out the ball and I'm looking forward to seeing the game. Finally, we have some beautiful weather. Finally, right? It's been rainy the past couple of weeks and this is one of the last game. This is the last game of the season. Yeah, so we're, we're looking forward to seeing the game and again, Virtue is really thrilled to be a part of Bridgehampton Polo this summer. Now we're going to look at some of the special features of the phone. This is our Constellation Touch. This is our first touchscreen smartphone and to contact the concierge, you simply press on this dedicated button to either call or email the concierge and they can take care of whatever your needs are from booking a last minute holiday to organizing a dinner party at your home and any Anything else that you can imagine. Is this concierge service similar to the American Express Centurion? It is similar, uh, but it's an independent concierge, so we're not affiliated with an, any one particular brand, so it's uh, very um, independent research involved. Nick, Jesse, thanks for joining us. Yeah. Nick, we've seen you all over and covered the things. You're a lucky girl. <laughs> He's a lucky guy. That I'm he a is. very lucky guy. Yeah, I, I tend to think I'm more that lucky. That was wonderful. Yeah. I was setting that up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, got, I had to come yeah. in there, right? Absolutely. Yeah, that was, yeah you're setting yeah, me up. Yeah, good. Absolutely. I like it, so, yeah. Yeah, good. Cool. Good. So what's going on? Nothing. How's your summer? And summer's, how's... summer's good. You know, it's... Uh, uh, you know, it's obviously nice to be with Jess. Jess lives here in New York, so it's uh, it's good to be back here. And you know, it's great to be playing the Hamptons Polo season. Right. Um, you no, know, the weather horrible, horrible season. The weather has been terrible. You know, and obviously we need the sun to play polo. So, um, you know, polo wise, it hasn't been great. But look, you know, luckily we got one last Saturday in. It's sunny out. It's and, perfect. And uh, we can't complain. So. Yes. It is what it is. You you know you can only move forward. You yes. can't really. Anything exciting over the summer? Obviously, had a lot of weekends off. What did you guys do for fun? Well, I was actually in England for a, lot of, a big part of the summer as well. So um, I've only been here for a couple of weeks. Right. And I was in Los Angeles. And so she was in Los Angeles. So, so we, we were we've, back and forth. We've been back and forth. But, <laughs> Lots of traveling. Uh, well, thank God we it's, brought you two yeah, together. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Camp and Polo. Exactly. If it because wasn't for us, guys, you guys would be right. separated. Exactly. Yeah. We yeah. wouldn't be here. I'd be, on, I'd be in Europe and she'd be on the West Coast. <laughs> yeah, see. We'd be 12 hours we apart. We bring so. couples together here at right. Hamptons Television. You're amazing. I have to say, thank you. It's our pleasure. It's our pleasure. Anything new coming up that you guys would like to talk about? We got a big game tomorrow. Uh, yeah, we got a big game tomorrow. We won our first game in the, in the Hamptons Cup. We got another big one tomorrow. Um, and just, you know, really looking forward to, uh, you know, the last couple of weeks of the summer and uh, enjoying the weather and the beach. And Enough about him. Let's talk about you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The last 45 minutes are going to be all about you. Yeah. <laughs> now for a change in the ball teams, they're going to play it out today. For silk and the black jerseys. Number one, Bart Van Lee. Let's get a big hand for all the players. Number two, Martin Pepa. Number three, Christian Jose Laprida, Aquaman. And number four, Guille Aguero. For the White Birch team, number one, from Uruguay, Felipe Viana. Number two, from Calgary, Canada, Freddy Lightning Bennett. Number three, the one and only champion of champions, Mariano Manuel Guerre. And number four, Peter Brown. We're going to have both teams here, so we're very excited to welcome our star chef, Bobby Flay, 
I know who Jeff is. Shamine is Polo. Oh my goodness. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. She organizes it, puts it together. This is your second year running it. Yeah, second year. Last year was very last minute. We came on right at the right at the very, very, very uh, beginning, uh, just before the season started. But this time we had a little bit more time to plan it. Yes. So it was great. Now, new concept. Last a couple of years back, it was mayhem. Anyone showing up? You're very particular about who shows up at Polo. Well, you know, we really want people who are going to enjoy the sport. We don't want people who are coming just to drink and enjoy and socialize. Of course, that that's, that's here me. and that happens. Yes. That's you. Um, but we really, uh, we're all about the sport. We're yes. very immersed in it, and and um, we want people to come and really sit down and watch and take it in, and and you know experience what polo is all about. So and now we have a new sponsor for this uh, for, for the this cup. cup. Yes. Yeah, this is uh, the Virtu Hampton Cup. In fact, they've never yes. had a title sponsor for the Hampton Cup, so it's rather exciting. Right. Yeah. Now tell us a little bit about your company. I know all about it. They don't very little about it. What so do you tell mean? us. <laughs> uh, well, I'm based uh, down in Palm Beach. Florida, um, headquartered down there, and uh, have you know big presence in kind of Palm Beach County in South Florida, right. but also in New York, and now here in the summer in the Hamptons. Right. I've now ruined my summers by taking on Bridge Hampton Polo. Used to take uh, it easy, and now all of a sudden you're exactly, working again. Exactly, yeah, exactly. So um, the Hamptons is where I want to be in the summer. I mean, it's you know it's where There's I want to be. But better. this has been a lot of fun to kind of take this and turn it around and now tell and us about next year what looks forward to next year what what are we going to see at polo next year well i think um you know as you're probably experiencing today and some of the guests that are here you know it's mellow it's relaxed um we have a tremendous group of sponsors and we really have an right. amazing group and uh that's the whole idea you're going to see more of that you know more of, more of the same just very chill very relaxed. It's very comfortable relaxed yeah. a lot big open area it's one big happy family have, have a glass of rosé if you yes. want to come straight from the beach come straight from the beach yep. you know i actually am a fan of getting rid of the big hats and the, you know, ladies should come in flip-flops and right. nice summer dress. I left my big hat and spikes. I'm glad you yes, did. I'm glad. I'm really yeah. glad about that. We're so happy. Thank you for having us. Of we course. really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, it's such a trend this summer. I know. I'm such a not a maxi dress kind of girl. Oh, no, you're not? No, I keep saying, okay, this is the year I'm going to wear a maxi dress, but it's been all summer. I haven't worn one yet. And fashion week's coming up. What can we look forward to from you? Well, hopefully, like, something very exciting and different and modern and, uh, you know, I think I've got some gorgeous prints this year, and we've got some, like, really interesting, you know, kind of high-tech innovations, which I think are kind of cool. You always have beautiful designs. I mean, you're amazing. I'm such a fan. I'm joined by Teresa and Barbara, and you girls look beautiful. Thank you. We want to talk a little bit about Hampton style. To you, what does that mean? Mm, well, uh, Hampton style to me just means laid back, but chic, elegant, understated. Uh I agree. Chic, beachy, relaxed, um, not showing off, just casual. Is this your first time at Polo? Oh no, I'm a veteran. <laughs> I've been here since the Peter Brandt days. <laughs> and Stephanie Seymour and Neil Hirsch, yeah. Wow. yeah. So what are some of the trends that you've seen here? Well, I noticed this year it's a lot more, I understand it's a lot more Argentinian style. And that's what Gabby, um, Donna Karen's daughter, wanted to do. She wanted to portray it very family-oriented and more just coming about, not partying so much, but just gathering around watching beautiful horses, these beautiful specimens playing polo. 
And a beautiful crowd. And, of course, would be complete. <laughs> so what's on the agenda besides polo for the weekend for you? We have the Hampton Classics coming up. Oh, yeah. So we're excited about this. We're having a table, actually. So we will be uh, hosting, American Eurocopter is hosting the table. So we'll be part of them. That's exciting. And start on very excited. Tuesday, right? With a jump, with a special uh, um, jump coming up from American Eurocopter. And then on Sunday, we're at the uh, Grand Prix. We, uh, we're attending the finals. So we're excited about that. So you have a lot of amazing events going on. Yes. Well, this, this week, it's all about setting up for that. Yeah, because it begins on Tuesday. Right. We're, we're actually sponsoring one of the jumps. Yes. Yes. And it's the end of summer. So this is the perfect time to live it up. I'm with Lorna over here, and what's Lorna? Lorna, who are we with? This is Harlan. He is a six-month-old yellow lab who will be a guide dog, hopefully, when he's about two years old. Great. Harlan, this is your opportunity to be on television. So what do you think? Look right over there. Talk to the camera. All right. There you go. How about that? So tell us a little bit about guide dogs. I know a little bit about it. Tell our audience a little bit more. Well, there are 21 million blind or, or, or not sighted right. people in America. We have 10,000 dogs. So we've got to get a lot more dogs going on. We do. <laughs> we do. And um, I became a puppy raiser for an organization called Guide Dogs of the Desert because yes. I live in Palm Springs. Nice. And it's the most rewarding and wonderful thing I've ever done it in my is. life. You're actually giving sight to those people. I am. It is. And, it's a and let thing. me tell you something. It is, without a doubt, one of the most gratifying charities I've ever worked for because when you see a blind person get their dog and you realize that you raised the dog, yes. it is remarkable. It's wonderful. Let the audience know where they can get some more information. If you want to get more information, go to Guide Dogs of the Desert. And that's our website. Right. So thank you. Thank you so for much. everything that you do. Thank we you. really appreciate thank it. You. And, all right, Harlan. Thank you so much. <laughs> He's sleepy. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, monkey. I'm joined by Aviva Drescher, Real Housewife of New York. It's so wonderful to talk to you. How's your summer going so far? Oh, hi. Well, it's better now that I'm with you. You're oh. so stunning. Oh, my God. Your eyes are, are so blue and clear. Oh, so sweet. I feel the same way about oh. you. You're my favorite housewife, and I'm not thank just you. saying that. I oh, mean it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my summer is great. Thank you for asking me. for having a, a terrific time relaxing here in the Hamptons with our four children. Uh, two of them went to camp, uh, sleepaway camp. Two of them stayed back and went to Hampton Country Day camp and now we're all reunited and we're really having a great time. And you're a veteran at polo I'm sure. How do you enjoy it? I do. I do. I try to come once a summer and um, and then I have some friends whose daughters actually ride um, and so I come and see my friends children more of the time than I do to come on a Saturday. And I, I watch the housewives religiously so every week you look amazing. I'm always wondering what are you wearing? I always and I even tweeted you where do you get your hair done? And oh, she's so you. sweet right away you answered, which oh, is, you, you know, it's not common. Yeah. I, I mean, I think that if you put yourself you know, on, on a television camera, you know, you're, you're saying that I want to mingle with everybody. And so I'm, I love talking to people and I love answering questions and I'm not hiding, you know, who does my hair, what I'm wearing. It's all, it's all an open book. So, you're so sweet. And look at what you're wearing today. Who is this by? This is by Magasconi. And have you done a lot of shopping in the Hamptons this summer? Um, I did a little bit in Southampton. Not a lot. Not a lot. I, I've been a little busy, but a little bit in Southampton. I, you know, I always stop in a Calypso for a couple of always for a couple of basics. Um, I just I got some great J. Crew uh, jeans in different colors. I finally succumbed to the to the different color jeans. The color trend. Yeah, I did it. I did it. Yeah. So I've been having fun with color. Everyone in the city is usually dressing dark, and I think that's one of the trends this summer is a lot of color. Yeah. Well, you know what? You and here, here we stand out. Here I am, and and I never wear turquoise blue head to toe, but I thought I'd have fun with it today. I'm with Kelly and her daughters C and Teddy. I tell you, great names. My boys' names are Tucker and Wyatt, so it's nice to have a little different, eh? Yeah, exactly. I think it's Midwestern in us. Yes. You're <laughs> Illinois. We just found out we're not far from each other. Exactly. Yes. But today we're at Polo, and it's a closing day, so it's a sad day, but a happy day because it's so gorgeous. Right. Now, what have you girls been doing all summer? Anything fun? Um, we 
we've been just surfing and uh, swimming and going to the beach. Right. Just What's been your favorite summer thing to do? Um, surfing. Surfing? You know, your mom spoils you rotten. You know how lucky you girls are? <laughs> <laughs> well, out in the Hamptons, you can do everything. You know, they've been surfing, they've been playing, playing tennis. We spend a lot of time riding bikes, which is something that we, we know we all love to do. Right. The other night, I let them ride bikes in the dark, so that was really, really fun for them. Sure. And um, the great thing about being in the Hamptons is just being able to have that real, you know, family life, and that's right. really important to me, obviously. I've been out here 12 years, raised my boys out here. It was great. Now they're big. They're both in college. Wow. So pretty soon you girls are going to be out and out of the house. Are you going to be Stay out home for as long as you can. <laughs> Ted, are you going to be driving us around with your Bentley? Yeah. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing <laughs> wrong with that. One more week left. What are you planning outside of family time? Anything exciting? Um, you know, this is really, I mean, I have to work for two days, which is, you know, nothing wrong with that. Um, but then the most of the time, we're just going to be together. My sister's going to come out. My parents are going to come out. So we're just hoping to have, you know, a really good, you know, end of the summer. Great. Girls, have fun. Enjoy your mom while you can, okay? Right, thank, thank you so much. Thank really you. It. I'm joined by Gabby Karn and Maria Baum. How's your summer going so far in the Hamptons? Oh, my God. It's been amazing and crazy. I know my girlfriend hosted an amazing paddle and party for Pink in the Hamptons. that went for breast cancer and we're catering the polo events that my husband is sponsoring and it's been great. Unbelievable summer, really one yeah. of the best ever, but it's hard to try to still sneak away to the beach with the kids when we can. I can't yeah. believe it's over already. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe it either. One week until Labor Day. What are your plans for the week? Um, really trying to like spend family time. I have to say I'm doing a, a screening at my house on Sunday, which um, I can't say the details yet, but that's my, my one more social event that we're planning for the Hamptons you know but it's been beautiful and incredible and and being a part of polo this year has been so nice like being a part of the change and making the tents beautiful and offering food and and having our style in this you know changeover of uh, polo we're we're super excited about it's such a stylish atmosphere and it's wonderful yeah to contributed. yeah tell me a little bit about your husband's company who is the sponsor um, my husband's a pilot and um, he started doing um, he was a military pilot in Italy and he started his own charter business when we got married called Zen Air which was inspired a little bit about my mother who, who does urban Zen and it's about safety and luxury and great food and a great feeling and his friend who's a very good polo player got us involved in this and it was like a perfect you know marriage I think and let's talk a little bit about your restaurant as well okay well we have um, two restaurants now and we hope for more three or four or five and um, it's we're really proud of it I mean Maria's from Italy my husband's from Italy and I didn't want to go to Europe every summer so it was like a perfect opportunity to try to bring a slice of Italy to the Hamptons so we didn't have to travel there so much but we still dash off yeah. Maria takes her family I go you know but we've created a slice of Italy in the Hamptons which is really nice which is perfect and I think it was needed and yes. I, I think it'll keep growing it's I amazing so. I hope so I hope so it was a phenomenal season for the restaurant as well. It's yeah. Really great. Yeah. And I just have to ask you, you both look amazing. You're both so stylish. Um, what are you guys wearing and what are some trends that you've noticed at Polo today? I think fashion has become more about the sport and it's super more simpler and I would say flats and rustic and you know really casual you know sort of Hampton chic I think is how I would see making fashion for the Polo Games. This is a Love Shack fancy dress, which is uh, my my friend's daughter actually started this amazing line. And I love it. The color is gorgeous. This summer she's doing really well, and yeah, Love Shack fancy dress. <laughs> Oh, I, I have to say my first love is still Urban Zen, but I do love Love Shack. And Donna Karen. Of course, Donna Karen. Back to the by Gisha Wero. And hit the ball, and that concludes the checker in Musica Maestro. Now we're with three of the coolest people in the Hamptons. We've got Jacqueline Wonders. Hello. <laughs> Monique and Parr, say hello. Hey, Mike. How are you? Parr, say hello to all your fans. <laughs> hey, you all. <laughs> now, 
We've been friends all summer long. These two have been friends for years now. Ten but years? Yes, yes, absolutely. Ten, and decade. they finally let me into the club. I'm so excited. <laughs> yes. You had to beg. But... Had, yes, it was well worth it. And pay a fee, you know, so that worked out really well. Parr was just at the Olympics. Tell us a little bit about the Olympics. <laughs> oh, it's just like back in the day. Back yeah. in the day, Mike, yeah. Right. Get the back, the old feelings came back. Yes, back when he was a swimmer, swam it in college. And you're an import. Where you're from? Sweden. Sweden. You don't sound or look Swedish at all. <laughs> no, I know. I, I you know, come yeah, across very, very good. Say something in right. Swedish. And we've got another foreigner with us. Oh, wait, thanks for that introduction, yes. Mike. <laughs> Feel right at home now. Yes, yeah. I'm Australian. Yes. Yeah. yes. We couldn't tell by the accent. That you no. don't think? No, not at all. And Jacqueline's from Arizona. I am. Yes. Tucson. Tucson. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. <laughs> Enjoying the summer. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you later. Come here, Lorena. So I am Andrea, and I uh, so I started being a model when I was 14, and then I uh, got into plus size modeling at 22. I went to college in between there on the island and at FIT. Um, and and I started my first product line uh, last year. It's called Suckets, S-U-K-I-T-Z. It's an What's that? <laughs> it's an energy and diet lollipop. Oh, wow. So uh, it's kind of like Red Bull or Five Hour Energy or something like that. But the difference is it um, it actually gives you a better form of energy. Because when you drink a Red Bull, most people get sick. Ours goes directly in through the oral cavity. Um, and we our diet one actually helps people lose weight. Don't look at me. A lollipop that makes you lose weight. I think I like the sound of that. Yes, it's great. Uh, we have birthday cake, cheesecake, strawberry shortcake, apple pie, lemon meringue, you name it. We have a flavor and it's 10 calories and people are loving it. Is there a website? Where can people find this? You can find it at www.suckitz.com. And I know you have a reality show coming out. Tell us a little bit about that. Ah, I am in a development deal. Uh, we do have interest from the networks. We do have a lot of celebrities attached. I am known as the startup girl, so I'm actually launching another company on the show. So, actually two companies on the show. One is another consumer goods product, uh, and an, another one's an application, like a mobile app. Okay. So you guys should follow me on Twitter. I'm joined by Alex, who is the voice of Polo. How are you? Very well. Nice to meet you, Caitlin. Thank you very much. VVH TV News, thank you for being here with us every year, and it's been a wonderful game, you know. It has. What did you think of it? Well, the White Birch had a strong second half and catch up, you know, and they didn't have enough time, but it was a, you know, this is what you expect of a final game. What did you think of the season? It's the first time in 17 years that we lost so many Saturdays, and we've been postponing games, yes. but you know what? Everybody had their best interest on in the sports and look after the horses so we had to reschedule and reschedule and reschedule all the games to make them possible well finally i mean it's the last game of the season but at least it was beautiful weather it was wonderful weather and i think a lot of people will be looking forward to next year yeah, with the way forward. today turns out we're looking out. forward everybody should be come here you know in the tent or in the other side with your picnic table have a great time you know we're a very warm club, inviting everybody to come here to the Bridgehampton Polo Club. And what do you think it is about Hamptons Polo that sets it apart from other locations? Well, you have here the, the mix of nature, one of the best beaches, the weather, people is... I mean, what I find about people are here into enjoying themselves, yes. you know. All right, well, thank you for joining us, and we can't wait to see you again next year. Thank you very much, and I hope I see you again. <laughs> This is Michael Wodaika, and I'm with Michelle Farmer at Polo. Did you have a good time today? I, it was wonderful. Great. Wonderful. Beautiful day. Great game. Way to finish up the season. Fantastic. All right. Say goodbye to our audience. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you. It's been a great season. Thanks for being with us here on WVVH Hamptons Television. <laughs>